Folks lost a little signal there. It's uh, very uh, contentious, but Massachusetts now, 115 delegates. Massachusetts there giving a big chunk of its delegates to Hillary Clinton. Of course, that was a bit of a surprise because uh, they're next door's neighbor of Vermont, but uh, the Massachusetts Democrats Michigan. seem to prefer Clinton. Michigan now on the far side there. You can kind of see them cheering. A lot of white signs. Very vocal. 147 delegates. Oh, don't you know, it's time for Minnesota to give their 93 delegates. Here they are now. A lot of likes in Minnesota there. Al Franken standing next to the woman who's speaking. Oh, that's, of course, Senator Klobuchar. So a Prince tribute here. And Keith Allison. Is the home of Hubert Horatio Humphrey, who at the 1948 convention in Philadelphia called on delegates and to the nation to get, the, get out of the shadow of snake rights and walk more brightly into the bright sunshine of human rights. Cast 47 votes for Bernie Sanders. So Bernie picking up the majority of the 93 delegates there just by a razor thin margin. So Minnesota split right down the middle, a difference of one delegate, but slightly leaning Bernie there, despite uh, their senator, Al Franken, saying quite nice words about her last night in a speech introducing Paul Simon. Mississippi now, 41. So the South Mississippi, of course, in the South, the South doing very well for Hillary Clinton. Uh, much of the Democratic delegations are African-Americans, and she's always done well there with Bill. Here's a little shot here in between as Missouri gets up. That's a pretty hilarious outfit they've got on there. This is in the Virgin Islands delegation. Senator Claire McCaskill now.
So there's Missouri Senator Claire McCaskill. Uh, again, Missouri going strongly for Clinton there with a few for Sanders. And Montana, we're just uh, standing next to Montana right here waiting for them. to watch there. So big sky country going for Hillary there. But not not by much. Good good chunk there for Sanders. Nearly did it. The Maverick State, Montana would be. They've had um, Democrats in their Senate seats, but uh, often goes red for president because they like their guns. And uh, often the Democratic nominee does not. Thank you. Shout out to both of them, but a special nod to Bernie there. Nebraska, again, another red state, not expected to do well for the Democrats, and just 30 delegates. Here's Nevada, a state that actually switched after the count. A uh, story you can read on RT. Bernie ended up winning the delegate count. Lots of controversy. of folks uh, around us there. It's very tight quarters, so oftentimes we have to relocate and uh, can't extend the uh, tripod with the full arm, so uh, a little shaky, but uh, we're trying to get you as uh, inside the action as we can.
And a 50-50 split there in New Hampshire, the first state in the nation for the primary. 32 delegates, 16 each. Jersey, one of the last states to vote. A big victory for Hillary there. Of course, New Jersey, one of the last states to vote. Uh, voted in June along with California. And uh, along with New York, uh, she won that one. Reference to Breaking Bad, interesting.
So 291 delegates there from New York, most going to Hillary Clinton. Of course, she won that. That was kind of the end of uh, the Sanders momentum when she won New York in a closed primary, which means a number of people couldn't just uh, register late in the process. And that really hurt Bernie when he was surging. To North Carolina now. 120 delegates. North Dakota, one of the smallest, uh, least populated states in the nation, but also a long stronghold for uh, lefty politics. Uh, they have a state bank, and their Democratic Party is actually called uh, DFL, uh, Farm Labor. So they're up there in the corner. Sanders doing very well in North Dakota. Uh, they might say they were keeping the corporate. Next to us here, 160 delegates. Ohio going big for Hillary Clinton there. Uh, that's going to be a crucial state for either candidate to get, as it has been in many recent years, uh, often the site of voting irregularities as well in 2004, for instance. Uh, a lot of controversy there. But uh, Oklahoma up next. Again, a red state uh, not expected with only 42 delegates, but uh, and a big Sanders signer as well.
accepted the nomination for the presidency of the United States. I watched that, that moment on TV, and I knew that our world had changed forever, and had changed for the better. Tonight, thank you, Mark T.T. A lot of mic passing here for Oklahoma. So Bernie is going to pick up the majority in Oklahoma, 22 out of their 42 delegates. So Oklahoma in the win column for Bernie Sanders, a rare uh, southern or kind of midwestern win for him. He's had mixed results. Oregon, Oregon strong Bernie territory. So Bernie Sanders picking up Oregon as expected. He did well there in the primary. Uh, signs like we are the 99.9% .9 and enough is enough uh, are uh, among the Oregon delegation as well as an equal mix of Bernie and Hillary signs over there. So 40 delegates from Oregon going to Bernie Sanders there. Big state, Pennsylvania. Again, this is a swing state. Uh, it could be a, a pickup for Trump if he can get the working class vote. Uh, A big pickup for Clinton there, Pennsylvania. This is where we are. We're in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So this is the home state for this convention going to Clinton. Puerto Rico is up here. Not to our, uh, Puerto Rico going through a lot of economic troubles lately. And here's their 67 delegates. Big pick up for Sanders there, 43 out of 67.
So Puerto Rico, even though it's going strongly for Bernie, uh, big cheer there in Spanish for Hillary Clinton. Uh, big endorsement. A uh, couple of different signs up there. One is no fiscal control board, several uh, T-shirts uh, with that, and uh, also a uh, um, free uh, Oscar Lopez Rivera, who's a political prisoner. It's a very political delegation. Tiny Rhode Island, 33 delegates. Another big pickup for Hillary Clinton from a southern state, South Carolina there, 53 delegates, uh, most going for Hillary. They're up there, a very small delegation, again, just 25 delegates. South Dakota going for Hillary Rodham Clinton, even though Bernie was the one who campaigned there on the Lakota Reservation shortly before that election uh, while she was at a Texas uh, fundraiser. Getting down to it, the letter T, this is an alphabetical process, so not too many left here. 75 delegates for Tennessee. So, so two deferrals on their 75 delegates. Sorry for all the motion here. It's getting a little crowded. We're over by the West Virginia delegation, which is getting ready here. Uh, once the T's are done and the V's.
Big, big, big number of delegates there for Clinton. As expected, she won Texas handily. And she has passed the number, of course. South Dakota put her over, but uh, has not been noted as such. They're running them all out in respect for Bernie, most likely. And then we'll find out that Hillary is the nominee of the Democratic Party for the 2016 general election. Big pickup for Sanders in Utah, 29 out of 37. Eight votes for Secretary Hillary Clinton. Just eight votes for her, not that she needs them, but uh, she has surpassed the number with South Dakota. All 12 of the Virgin Islands going towards for Hillary Clinton there, although there is somebody wearing a chicken mask with a photo of Hillary on the side, so not sure what that's about. So Virginia up now next, 108 delegates. She won that by more than two to one margin, 108 delegates. Washington State, though, different story. Washington State, of course, did very well for Bernie Sanders and a lot of no T-tip posters over there, as well as Bernie signs and a Natives for Bernie sign. Washington has 
two abstentions, and is proud, very proud to cast 74 votes for the inspiring and transformative Senator Bernie Sanders. Big Bernie chant now, picking up. So Washington State going big for Bernie Sanders there. Uh, there's even a pro-Palestinian sign, which was a big bone of contention in the platform committee. Uh, that was one of the things the uh, progressive Bernie supporters were not able to get movement on. But here we are, West Virginia. We're right next to them. They've been setting up here for a while, and they're ready to go. A big cold state, and also a swing state. Not a lot of delegates, 37. Wisconsin, the Dairy State, 96 delegates here. Um, often a swing state, but uh, progressive leaning. In fact, it's uh, the birthplace of one of the incarnations of the Progressive Party by fighting Robert uh, Bob Follett. And now Tammy Baldwin, the first openly uh, lesbian member of Congress, will read the delegate count. And former senator, he's running again against uh, Ron Johnson. Had a little freeze there. So Bernie got a slight win in Wisconsin. That was a tough fought thing. Madison, Wisconsin, of course, a huge progressive city, uh, was able to put Bernie over the top there, as well as Milwaukee, which uh, years ago had a socialist mayor. Uh, almost 100 years ago. So uh, long progressive tradition in Wisconsin, and that worked out well for Bernie Sanders. So Wyoming way in the back. So Wyoming picking Clinton there. That, of course, was the first state in the Union to allow women to vote back in the day, uh, almost 100 years ago at this point. And uh, they also uh, wore some Black Lives Matter t-shirt, even though Wyoming is not known for its diversity, making a stand there. Here's Vermont. We're just over here now. Of course, Sanders not a member of the Democratic Party in Vermont. He was an independent for many, many years, but uh, they did have an alliance. And there he is. There's a shot of him right now.
Another shot of Bernie there. This is uh, really his last stand. Uh, the rest of the week will probably be all about Hillary. And this is really the last time. A few burning chants. So Sanders is going to make a speech from the Vermont delegation. And uh, this is actually probably going to be the declaration right here. This is how they're going to do it. Because he, she has surpassed the number she required. She did with South Dakota's vote. And So there you have it. Bernie is moving, putting that out on the floor. His opponent, someone he uh, criticized for months for her positions on a number of issues where they conflicted, but now they have found common ground. There's a Bernie delegate crying right there. I think it's very tough for the Bernie supporters now. It's starting to really sink in. Congressman Marsha Fudge from Ohio, the acting head of the DNC after the chair, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, had to resign this week over the email leak. But now it's a room full of folks celebrating as uh, you may be bouncing with us, tearing up. Try and talk to them. From Connecticut. And when, when the New England primary happened with Connecticut and all the other states, and we lost those, that's what I knew. So it's been a long, slow process of acceptance since then, but this is kind of the, the thing that puts you over the edge in having to accept it. So what, so what now? Are you going for Hillary or is Jill Stein on your radar? <laughs> um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. Any Bernie or Bust folks that would go to Trump? I don't know a single one, no. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know plenty who are going for Stein, some that are going for Johnson. Uh, I know some Republicans, like my own father, who is Republican, and I convinced him to vote for Bernie, but now he's going to go for... Uh, .com. On the, it's actually a Periscope. RT, we're with Ed Schultz and a few other hosts. Uh, Tom Hartman. Yeah, thank so. you. Great, thank you. So there you have it. Uh, Bernie supporter tearing up when that announcement was made, although, as she said there, uh, after they uh, didn't uh, win the kind of New England process uh, months ago, including Connecticut, where she's from, uh, that is when she really started to realize that this was uh, uh, not going to happen for Bernie. Uh, but it's still kind of set in uh, there in that moment. And uh, so tough, tough for Bernie supporters now. But as she, again, as she said, it looks like um, 
It looks like a lot of them are looking at either Gary Johnson or Jill Stein, or in the case of her Republican father, who uh, had a bit of a maverick streak, he's going to go for Trump. Uh, but, uh, you know, a lot, a lot of tough uh, choices going to be made in the coming days and weeks uh, for Bernie supporters as to whether they go with Clinton or someone else. Terry McAuliffe now speaking, governor of Virginia and former DNC chair, uh, one who didn't have to resign after an email scandal. just uh, building up to the moment where Hillary got nominated. And uh, now they're grabbing something to eat, uh, hugging each other, or in the case of Bernie supporters, they may be going off somewhere to uh, have a quiet weep and figure out who they're going to support now after he was uh, not successful in the nomination. So I'm going to wrap this podcast up for now. Uh, Bill Clinton speaking tonight. Uh, that should be a big one. We'll, pod- we'll periscope that hopefully from the floor. So stay tuned for that. But for now, from Wells Fargo Arena, the Democratic National Convention, good night.